Mike with 3G Construction, 115 North Dunsmere. Pretty sure it's 115. I want to see the number plate. I guess that would be the first thing to put on the list is the number plate. <clears throat> or the address numbers. Get rid of some bricks. The front door is in really bad shape. It's got dents. stripping is, is torn. So I'm just going to call out some of the things that I've seen um, and just do an estimate that uh, is broken down into many line items that can just be um, picked and, and decided on if, if those items are going to work for you. There's just so many things and, and I don't know exactly um, what things are going to the owners are going to want to do. So I'll just uh, line them all out and um, give the owners something to kind of pick and choose. So front door, closet door is missing. I've, I've already been through the property. I've already walked through the entire property, actually twice. Um, once a few days ago, and then I came back here today to take some measurements. But um, I'll just, like I said, just call, call it out like I see it, and you just let me know how I can help. That right there, that patch right there needs to be textured. There's a few of those throughout the house where it looks like someone's... Um, attempted or um, have started some drywall patches and they just never got completed. So, some drywall patches and painting throughout. Miscellaneous drywall patches, holes to fill, but painting throughout is something I would definitely recommend. Um, trash out meaning removing all the trash on site. The windows in general are missing some, some pieces and uh, could potentially be replaced. Um, I, I don't know if the property is going to be rented out again or sold. But I'm going to go ahead and put a line item on there for replacing the windows. Just because of the, uh, um, the parts that are missing. And some of them don't, don't have the, the locks on them to be able to secure the, the windows. The kitchen appears that it's been remodeled maybe at one time. And uh, I'm not sure what was trying to be accomplished, but um, the layout is a little unorthodox to say the least. Um, the cabinets, um, there's three different cabinet doors right now. Got this cathedral type one here. You have your flat panel and then you have your flat panel with uh, kind of this little design going through it. The kitchen definitely needs some attention, but I assume nothing. I'm just getting the information together, and again, I'll help any way I can. I'll break it down as much as I can. If you feel I haven't broken everything down, um, just let me know, and I'll, I'll make any adjustments accordingly. But I basically took measurements of the entire kitchen, and uh, um, I'm going to actually put a new kitchen design together just so you have for a resource to at least help you make a decision on how you want to approach this. Um, this wall, I, I'm having, I'm guessing that it was added. 
Um, I'm trying to figure out where the refrigerator was before because I don't, I don't think this house was built with the refrigerator halfway in the, in the window. And then on this side, the, the stove is kind of blocking this side of the cabinets. Um, I'm going to try to pull this plan, this specific address up on the um, building department. And if we're, if we're lucky, we might be able to find the original blueprint and see if we can maybe wrap our head around what the original design was. Um, nevertheless, I'm going to try to put together a better kitchen design. Um, just so you have. And uh, approach it like that. It very well could be that you just want to um, put some lipstick on her and send her back out to the rent, rent world again. Which we'd be more than happy to help you with that as well. The floor has rips and tears. <clears throat> I believe that was for the upper upper bathroom. It's cracked. Might be able to use that mirror. Some burnt outlets. There's one burnt one there. This over here appears that they. Let's see if I have a focus there. There we go. They filled the receptacle completely with paint. Bent grill, smashed, bent. Looks like someone has also attempted to replace some of the doors in here, <clears throat> and they all need some kind of work. That one actually closes good, which is nice. Missing the hinge, not the end of the world. Actually closes. That's good. This one was shaved on both sides. I mean, if we're gonna sell it, I'd recommend replacing those hinges. I'll put a line item in there, um, probably under hardware, which will uh, take care of some of these smaller things like maybe hinges, bump stops. Some adjustments to some of the, the hardware itself. Maybe some missing knobs. Won't know exactly how it's going to look until I start putting it together. Um, <clears throat> the bathroom, shower enclosure. Um, I was trying to figure out how I could approach this and be as cost effective as possible and efficient. Um, I'll just kind of get some close ups here and sh show you what I'm seeing here. I mean, whoever did it, I mean, there's just no other way to say it. Didn't know what they were doing. Um, and I was thinking, well, hey, you know, maybe we can just finish tiling this all the way up to the top, like a normal shower enclosure. But unfortunately, when I measured from the ceiling to these points here, they're just so far off, there's just no way that could be done to make it look good. Um, these tiles are not going to line up with that side. Maybe that's why they stopped. I can't say for sure. But they started like an inch up here and then tapers over. And over here they just held it tight to the tub. I also measured the floor. I mean, the, the floor looks like a newer type of material. Um, they just cut it back so far from the tub that there's a huge caulk line. And then you can see that big old hole there. Unfortunately, uh, obviously it doesn't look very good. Um, so I measured it anyways to, to give you a price on replacing the floor. The toilet, I'm guessing is original, matches the 
sink top. It's missing the mirror, which I believe that's the one I saw down on the main level. So there's a few things going on in here. I'll put it together for you. Remnants of someone trying to repair the walls in here. This room, this whole wall looks like it was sanded. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't do a very good job. It's really hard to pick up with the camera. But I promise you, it's not its not a quality job. And I apologize if I'm offending anyone. Um, I'm just calling it like I see it. So you can see where the drywall dust is on the floor. This this whole area has been uh, at least skimmed once. Um, and someone's painted these rooms and they painted right over, I, I don't know what they are. Um, bubble gum, I, I don't know what it is. But that would have to be handled in my opinion. So the doors, I think you can salvage the doors. They need to be cleaned, primed, painted. Oh, nice. Um, this one's an oddball door, so I'd recommend I'm replacing it so it matches all the doors in this area here. Because you have three, one, two, three, and your oddball. I think it makes sense to re replace it. But that's my opinion. Um, both of the rooms, which I didn't mention in the first room, are missing um, the bypass doors. So that's four doors that are missing. Here's some of those parts that are missing. You can see some of the broken glass in here. And it's just missing either glass or hardware. Looks like someone put a piece of trim in there to secure the window. Lots of drywall patches in here as well. Same with this wall. Carpet potentially could be saved. Again, I don't know if we're gonna rent it out or, or sell it. That's a possibility. Um, if we were to do the painting and drywall in here, we would protect the carpets and assume that they're gonna be replaced unless we knew otherwise before we started. Oh, also the ceiling fan up there. That light, actually, kinda of like it. That can be saved. Um, this room down here, I'd say, other than the windows, which I've mentioned, and uh, the drywall and paint, I think we're good. Well, there's a few pieces of trim that I need to put up, and that's, that's no big deal. A couple little drywall patches. A little bit of texturing. Painting definitely needs to be done, obviously. It's, it looks like a cheetah. And then the, the trim here, again, put on this side, and I'm guessing it's for the other side here. Yeah. And this door, I think, probably needs to be replaced as well. Looks like someone tried to, I don't even know what they tried to do, to be honest. The, the hinges are on this side. 